it go up and get it. Okay, now, the third part of this thing, think of it in parts and pieces as we put this together. The third route that I want to talk to you about is an X comeback. All right, still working the X comeback, but now we're going to throw what we call our money concept or our post corner concept, outside receiver post, inside receiver running the, the corner route, still got the cob route over here. Now, so for us, what we call it is X comeback, and then this concept, just put a name to it. We call it money. Uh, I've been at a school that we, we ran for the first time against Iowa one year, and we called it Hawkeye forever. You know, so it's, it's whatever you choose to name it. Okay, same protection thought. Okay, both backs going strong. Now, no tight end backside. So what we know, the quarterback knows now, I've got to worry about, I've got that, that potential on the backside. But if four comes, I've got to take care of him. All right. X is still running this comeback, okay? But the bottom line is, what we really like to get is the, is the money side, okay? And for us, as you read that, so as you see, it says C Y F T. X, does X ever get the ball on X comeback money? Yeah, I'm not going to tell you he's not going to, but really our focus now is, is to bring it back front side, off our, our, uh, our run action. He's on the back side, he's still on the forehead, he's still on the cob back there. If we didn't like this, or if we had an off corner, with nothing, you know, underneath, that guy's playing off 10, 12 yards, and we're just going to be able to, to, to play catch out there, we're going to take that. Never be afraid of, you know, I did somebody tell me a long time ago, never be, never be embarrassed by small profits just because you're going to take the 12-yard versus the 30-yard route or 15-yard gain over there in this case. Don't worry about it. Remember now, a cob route still converts. Okay? It says it says big under here, but it's not. All right. <laughs> it's a yeah, tiny cut and paste and forgot to take the dig off of that. So it's not a big route back side. And you'll see later on where the dig does come in. But that's X coming back with the money on the front side. Now, show me the, the, the time of these routes, because we've tried to run that this year, and we did have really okay. lovely. Here's, here's, the, here's the thing on the outside. He's running what we call a tape post. He's trying to take that guy out of there. So, dude, is it seven steps? Is it five? It's not that. It's step on his toes and cross his nose. Take him out of there. Take the deep defender away. What we're telling this guy is he is 10 to 12. He's 10 to 12, depending on how speed work. 10 to 12 yards, stick, and he's coming behind. So the post is over the top. When? Always. The, the, the flag route is, is underneath or behind that thing. When? Every time. All right? So as we come off, we need to be feeling this too. But you should go post over the top, flag underneath, read the, read the second, the, the defender over the number two receiver. If the deep defender over the number two receiver does anything to sit down on him, take the throw over the top. Okay? If he sells on him, take the throw over the top. If he doesn't, all right, then we're going to be able to take that defender out of there and throw the flag out to the, to the, to the open space. Okay? So he's going to come under. We still got to check. We can buy a tailback, which is consistent, you know, on this play, but we're going to check out here in the flat. If we don't take the take route, if that does not come open, now we're going to read the flag to flat off of the flat defender. Okay? So when we sit here, sits on the flag, take the shot. Shot's not there. Now, flag route, flat route, throw it off high low off the flat defender. Okay? Okay? Now that concept, again, one of the things I think that we do a really good job of is we keep uh, we have route concepts that move from protection to protection. Okay, is this the best protection this week for us? Yeah, it is. Boom, this is what we're going to use it on. Maybe, hey, you want to drop back and play that, that concept. It's a concept, this is a really fun concept against a four cross team. Okay, for me, I love it versus a quarter quarter has team or an all quarters team. Mm -hmm. This thing is, you'll, you'll get shots over the top, you know, because this guy's going to already play a little bit lower and he's going to settle on that thing, settle on tight end, and you're going to have an opportunity to get over the top of it because they'll jump it. Or, they might try to combo it off, but you got to get a feel for it. But, you know, this was a play, one place in Iowa, the other team that we used to just kill with this thing, and, and for years and years, was Washington State, where they played a quarters coverage. Money concepts are a good concept against those guys. Okay. So just a thought in your process, just so you can see it. We got beat by that route in the playoffs. We were on a quarters look, and Sherman Oaks the other day get that to us. Uh-huh. And that's exactly what they did. Our replacement, you got tied up on it. 
flying route. Yep. Yeah. And it's been on the You focus on flying, take it this over the top, right? Guy, guy wins with inside leverage, yeah. gets inside leverage with him, and all of a sudden now he's a poor cat's chasing, yeah. and he's got no help inside at all. So, well, you know, the tough thing is, is you're not the first, and you won't be the, and you won't be the last one that we will. Yeah, exactly. You know, we tried to turn the tables on it, but we, we just didn't have good luck timing it up for some whatever reason. Yeah, yeah, it just didn't happen. Yeah. Um, you know, for us, it's been something that's been a really consistent route concept that we've had good success with. Mm -hmm. Shorter this here. I have one more I wanted to. Now, here we go. Okay. Going back. Oh, off, off one, right? Yeah. Off and soft. Hey, take it. It's okay. Hey, Coach, I think you hit that display button. I think you'll get rid of those numbers. I don't know. Is there a display button or a counter? Nah, but it's not killing me. Take the tape. That guy settles, take the tape. 
Is that guy dressing? And we're over at the flat defender, high rolling off the flat defender, flat route to the flat route. Just money is money is money. That concept holds true with whatever you're doing. Okay? So in that combination, you always have the flat route off? off yes. Line. Yes. Because that's the high low on That's the high low on the flat defender. Right. If, if he settles and I got it, great. If I don't have a post, okay, that's not a problem. I've got two routes here, I've got a nice stretch, and I've got a flat defender in the bottom. You're going to be freaking rolling all the time now. You're going to be on the one here. You're not. Yeah, hey, that's all right. You're going to be on the one here. That's all right. So let's take a look through it. Let's, let's just go ahead and watch, watch the money concept unfold. It's going to happen down here at the bottom. And know this, too. Money's not always run from the tight end position in the end of tape. Okay, now. Yeah, here's the turn. Now, watch this guy, though. See, this kid makes a good decision. He's not going to cross that guy's toe. This is playing ball. Watch what the corner does to him. The guy just runs off inside. So we want to keep it skinny, right? So we know we're going to keep it skinny. That guy jumped three yards inside, so he just runs right behind him. He, just, he, he bends it just a little bit, but he doesn't say, oh, gosh, i gotta cross his, I got to cross his face. I know I'm, I'm going to take him out with me, and now I'm going to go. He just runs by him, quarterback puts it up, does a nice job, and oh, we drop it in. We got a nice touchdown play. Okay? So now it's hitting the post off the money. Come right back, chance to work the flag. Now, you know, I'm, I'm selfish. I'm going to try to show it with the tight end. I mean, here, most of my cutups are going to have that. But picture it picture that of twins, all right, with the back, full back offset to the open side. Okay. And, and you've protected yourself, you've protected yourself backside. Let's go ahead and look at this, and then we'll see if I've got one in here like that. If I don't, I'll, we'll draw it real quick and we'll, we'll no, see it makes sense. You, you see what I'm saying? Exactly. Like exactly. Now, shh, shh. The tight ends are twitching. We don't have a good time. Our tight ends are twitching. My poor guys. Your tight ends, I'd love to have those athletes. My guys. My guys. My tight ends can't get up, can't get up the field like your guys can. One more time, just again. Hey, we got a forex situation. Let's look at the adjustment. See what it looks like. All right, see, see the safety cheating over the top corners down here. Right now, this guy's thinking we've got a potential corner chop. Boom, he sees it on his first step as he starts to come back on the flag. He peeks it, looks there, boom, take it. And what those guys will do is when they're absolutely sure of it, you know, he almost backs that thing straight out of there and just makes the throw. Like a three-step drop. Yeah, that's all he's doing. So you're right now, for us, twins, you know, you want to get in twins, Offset the, offset the back to the open side, leave the tight end in on the back side. Now that tight end's there to protect. So now what are you doing? Now you're throwing money concept to two better athletes. You check big with him or don't even care. No, look, his rule is check sale, take anything deep out of there. Check. So what we would do with him is, is if we can get him out of there on the sale route, that gives us a chance to, you know, what, all, what that's going to do He's still doing the same thing. He's still doing the same thing. Okay. Now he's the tape. There's that. There's that. Now, boom and boom. And all we're telling them is take any, you know, if we were down like this and they've got either a, a rover down or something, there's a free in the middle here. If he can run that tape route, he'll take our sail route. We're trying to get him to sponge. We just want him to sponge that deep defender. So if we do with the tape in here with post, there's not that backside guy falling in on him. Because remember now, he's tighter, you know, than that, that removed receiver that's running the big that holds that space baby with that middle seat, that seat with, you know, middle free defender. Mm -hmm. Now we'll just take him on the sail outside and we'll go with it. To bring him across on the dig, to be honest with you, one, it's a real buster for him. We're trying to keep it as simple as possible. Two, we're just trying to sponge that deep defender, and we're really working here. We're going to take that tape, or right. we're going to high load and keep it all on one side. Quarterback doesn't have to worry about getting back over there at all. Everything to him is front side on this yeah. side. Yeah, it's, it's front side. It's, uh, it's for you. It's for us. You could almost just leave him in. You could. Yeah. You could. And you know what? We have a term in our offense. Now, we'll tell us that this why one's actually going to do it. But why stay? Why, whatever you want to make. Yeah. Make a snake song. Just take it. Tag it. Why? Yeah. yeah. Tag it. Keep him in. Handle your four. Or he's got the ability to do this to help on 
broken tackle, right? Mm -hmm. Help that tackle, you know, especially if you got a tackle that's maybe struggling to get somebody and you know he's to the back side. Your quarterback, you can all stay half field green for him, mm -hmm. and, and the life's great. You know, it's very, it keeps everything simple for him. And I think that's, you know, that's one of the things that, that you want to be able to do. But now, motion into it, you know, just let your mind go, mm -hmm. and you'll come up with 15 ways to run that play. You know, that's the fun thing with it. That's the fun thing that once you've taught the concept to the kids, you can go, okay, now if I motion you over, you're the inside receiver, we're running this concept, what's your out? He's going, oh, coach, I got a flag. You know, because that concept stays constant in his mind. Once he learns it, hey, you're the outside receiver now, what do you have? Oh, I've got the tape post, I've got the screen post, yep, that's you. You know, 